Shazam! Oh man. Well, I turned into this old gray bearded asshole. Oh, alcohol. Hello everybody, welcome to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hamker here with you. Today we'll be talking about the new DC movie Shazam. But first, let's start with a drink, of course. And today's drink we'll be doing is called the Electric Lightning. And the Electric Lightning is pretty simple. It is uh, a vodka and, uh, and kind of lemon-lime soda mixture. Uh, and it's really easy. You get one part vodka, one part coconut rum, and one part blue carousel, uh, and uh, a bit of lemon and lime soda poured into a shaker with ice, stir, and then dumped into a uh, Collins glass. So uh, let's make the drink and talk about Shazam. And Shazam is directed by David F. Sandberg and stars Zachary Le Levi and Asher Angel as his teenage counterpart or version of him, uh, and is about Billy Batson. Billy Batson is an orphan who bounces around from orphanage to orphanage trying to look for his mother because he was abandoned by his mother at an early age, I would say around three years old. Uh, he bounces around until he winds up in Philadelphia into a foster home filled with, I think, five other kids. Uh, <clears throat> and um, and then he's contacted by this uh, ancient wizard and he brings him to the home of all magic. And what the wizard tells him is that he is looking for a uh, person pure of heart to bestow upon him the powers of Shazam. And, uh, and, and that's what happens. The kid gets, uh, gets uh, bestowed upon him the powers of Shazam. And every time he says the word Shazam, he gets turned into a almost Superman Superman-like figure. It's pretty much uh, big meets, well, Superman. Um, and Zachary Levi plays the superhero adult version of Asher Angel's character, Billy Batson. So let's try this drink. Have a little leftover, just like a Sunday. Uh, anyway, here is to Shazam and the uh, electric lightning cocktail. That's delicious. Okay, so just a quick little anecdote. Hopefully it won't go too long because I do tend to ramble, but uh, I live in Philadelphia and uh, I went to see this in a crowd full uh, filled theater in Philadelphia. And there is a moment where the old wizard uh, kind of just talks to himself and says, I need to find somebody who is pure of heart. Smash cut to Philadelphia and it has the word Philadelphia uh, on the screen. And there is literally an audible grumble slash laughter through the audience. And normally I hate this because I hate people like talking during the movie and making little comments, thinking they're comedians. But somebody said, well, you're not going to find that here. And it is one of the funniest little theater going moments I've ever had because that's Philadelphia for you. It, uh, it's, it's a city that brought you this and this. So there you have it. All right. So let's talk about Shazam right off the bat, son. I'm gonna say I love this movie. You see what I did there? Because the kid's name is Billy Batson. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. Uh, so to me, this movie is the very definition of fun, joy, and excitement of its subject matter, even more so than Henry Cavill's uh, Superman. And it, it is such a nice, fresh breath, uh, breath of fresh air, honestly, uh, for this uh, DC universe. I think they started to take the turn with Aquaman, but Aquaman was a really, really dumb movie. This one isn't dumb. It has respect for its subject matter. Um, and uh, it, from the start, it had me smiling um, from from start to finish, really. And uh, and what I mean by that, it had an it had a a lightness about it that is 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 really nice. I'm not going to call it completely a family movie, but it is very um, f family oriented. It, it, its themes are family based and and what it, you would consider a family. And uh, Billy goes through this amazing arc of 
of thinking that one way is his family, which is what he's born into, and realizing that it's not what you're born into, is what you decide to make a family. And that is really powerful. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it did really bring a, a tear to my eye uh, at certain moments where he's realizing this for himself. And that is very powerful stuff in a movie that is really funny. And that's one of the big pluses of this movie. It's hilarious. And so in one of the ways it's so funny is through Zachary Levi's performance. Uh, of the adult version of a teenage uh, uh, Asher Angel, uh, Billy Batson. He is perfect, and this movie really does cash in on a lot of the, the jokes and the funny scenarios you could come up with uh, when... Uh, a teenager has has the the body of a of an adult and the powers of a of a super being. I mean, he's essentially Superman, who can also shoot lightning out of his hands, which is. Uh, pretty powerful, but he has to take time in figuring out his powers. He has to take time in figuring out what to do with these powers, whether to use it for his own personal gain or use it to, you know, help others, obviously, uh, as a superhero. So a couple of the other performances that I wanted to highlight besides Zachary Levi and Asher Angel, um, Billy Batson and Shazam, respectively, is Jack Dylan Glazier as Freddie Freeman, who is... Uh, uh, Billy's sort of uh, sidekick slash foster brother slash uh, expert of the uh, superhero genre that helps Billy figure out his his Shazam powers and is sort of his his uh, uh, person to have banter with and they're so funny together. There's a lot of great scenes with them and their chemistry is wonderful. Another one of the great performances are his foster parents played by Marta Milan and Cooper Anderson who uh, skirt the line of being kind of of almost sugar-coated perfect, uh, but also uh, parents that you don't want to mess with and kind of have a good handle on what they're doing with these foster kids. And I, I, I think they played that beautifully. I mean, these guys weren't too much, uh, uh, but but also were very likable. And um, and I just I just loved watching them and watching the dynamic between uh, between them and Be Billy and uh, and Freddie. So I've gone through so many things that I like. And I haven't even mentioned the set pieces and the action in this, and it's a comic book movie, which most comic book movies kind of lean on those uh, moments. And this uh, this movie's no different. It uh, it, it looked great. Um, Shazam's costume is ridiculous, but I think it's supposed to look ridiculous, but it didn't look so bad where it took you out of the movie. It just looked like, you know, a, a kid's imagining of what a superhero would look like. Uh, and uh, and they didn't have a huge amount of money to work with, and so I think they got creative with a lot of things. And and they also set the set pieces in the real world and not just on a green screen. And I think that was so smart. It makes everything feel so much more real and uh, more enjoyable. So as you can tell, I really love this movie, and I I I, I didn't struggle to find a negative, but I do want to mention something about uh, about the movie that uh, there. Uh, there, there's the the three main characters, which is Zachary Levi Shazam and Billy Batson. Or I guess it's, it's one. Uh, there's um, uh, Freddie's character, uh, and then there's Doctor Savannah. Um, but then there's also the foster home, which has five other kids in it. I think it's five. I'm, I'm probably forgetting one, and I'm going to sound like an idiot. But I think it's five. Five other kids in it that. Um, when together as kids, they didn't quite have the chemistry that you would want kids to have that have been living together for a while or have been around each other for a while. They didn't feel like um, kids like from the Goonies or from uh, um, Super 8 or from It or from Stranger Things who just felt like that they were, they, they, that they've known each other forever. Um, they didn't have those moments where they were like talking over each other or had banter or anything like that. And it just felt like a group of actors getting together and saying their lines sometimes. And so that felt a little off. Um, and I wish their chemistry was better. 
Because if their chemistry would have been like those movies I mentioned, it would have been just off the charts incredible. So look, all in all, I love this movie. I did. I, I thought it was great from start to finish, and I cannot find too many faults with it, which is um, surprising for me. I can usually find something that I go, hang on a second. Uh, but this one I can't. I'd, I'd say really close to like Wonder Woman neck and neck as being maybe my favorite DCEU movie. I mean, Wonder Woman had... A, a bit more gravitas and 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 and, and that uh, the no man's land sequence is still uh, incredible and probably better than any sequence in Shazam however uh, Shazam doesn't have the third act problems that Wonder Woman has it's it's third act and its finale is creative and did some things that really surprised me. Um, so, uh, but, and I also laughed throughout and had these, these nice weighty emotional moments. Uh, I, I love this movie. So big recommend from me. Thank you so much, everybody for joining me. Have a drink on me, everybody. Bye-bye.